What's up, Bico TV? So I'm back. Really, I can't even say I'm back with another video. I'm back on YouTube. I ain't been on YouTube in a minute. It's been a little hiatus. And I'm about to catch y'all up on everything that's been going on. So, first off, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm kind of tired of even saying that stuff. But yeah, I do need them subs. Y'all make sure y'all sub to this channel. Now, I've been gone from YouTube for a little minute because I've been traveling with the world famous Harlem Wizards. For those that's been following me on social media, or even following me on YouTube, because I post a video on there too. Y'all know I've been on tour for the last couple months, um, touring with the, with the um, Wizards and stuff like that. So, I haven't had much time to like record and stuff like that. So that's why I've been away. Now, the tour recently ended, uh, maybe like a week or two ago. But I'm still doing some stuff in between here and there. And, um, Let's just get to the topic of the damn video. So, two weeks ago, we were in a game. And a situation happened that was not planned. And actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll the clip. Yes, so that's what happened. We ran a play, show play. I dunked the ball. Great pass from my boy Don. I dunked the ball, and everything came down like you saw. Now, let me go ahead and tell this to y'all. That was not on purpose. All I did was go dunk. I didn't even really swing, honestly, like how I normally, normally I'd be swinging like it ain't no tomorrow. I didn't even swing for real, and that jump just came down. Uh, I am okay. I wasn't hurt. I was bleeding a little bit from some glass, uh, scrapes, whatever, but I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing. Um, now, let's get to this part. I just find it so ignorant. Crazy. Stupido. That uh, when I posted on um, Instagram, posted this video, the backlash that I got from certain people. Now, I was at Carmel High School in New York. If you haven't heard of Carmel High School, um, it's in some part of New York. I'm not even sure if that's upstate or whatever. But, let me start by saying this too. When a backboard breaks at a Harlem Wizards game, we play at schools. When a backboard breaks, we do replace the backboards. The school does not pay for that. We replace one backboard, and because you have to change one, we have to replace the other. So if we break, come to your school and break a backboard by accident, not on purpose, you get two. Not one, two. Let me say it for the people in the back. Not one, but two new basketball goals for free. Disclaimer. Now, a couple of the staff from Carmel High School decided to, let me give y'all an initial reaction first. I'm, I'm, I'm going there, but let me give y'all an initial reaction. When I initially broke the backboard, right, the people that was, the staff from the school that was at the game were very happy. And when I say very happy, I mean very happy. They told me this is the first time they ever had to replace the goal, ever. 
The school been on for the school has been open for more than 50 years. So it's the first new basketball they got, new basketball goal they got in 50 years. God don't mind. The goal was, it, it was destined to come down. It was gonna come down eventually. But they were happy because they wanted new stuff anyway. So what my school does, we fundraise for schools. So if we're, if we're performing at a school, they pay for us to get there, but they're also rejuvenating so much money because it's a fundraiser. You know what I'm saying? So they're making three times, sometimes four times how much they even spent to get us there. So they're already winning with us coming. So imagine that part on top of winning by getting two free new basketball goals. You just hit the jackpot. It should be seven, seven, seven. You should be jumping for joy. You should be skipping for joy. You should be running down the street with your shirt off saying, thank you, Harlem Wizards. The staff at the game were very happy. I was happy to make them happy. They were taking pictures, taking videos. They were thanking me as if I did it on purpose. They were jumping for joy. Now, after I posted the video, a couple of the, um, the Carmel High School basketball players and staff decided to comment some messages on my page. Now, really, I don't normally get into all this stuff like this. I've deleted a lot of them, but I just had to share the stupidity that I've had to deal with. And if I had to read it, guess what? So do y'all. Now. This is a message from the varsity boys coach at Carmel High School. The man comments on my page, goes out his way to find my page and says, as the varsity boys coach at Carmel, I truly do appreciate not being able to get into the gym this week with my team. P.S. Standing on the chair screaming at the crowd at your accomplishment is world class as well. Hashtag absolute joke. If there ain't more of a male version of Karen, Lord have mercy. So, when I first read that, I initially thought like he was really joking. I'm thinking like, he's really joking. And my friend told me like, yo, I think he's actually being serious. So I said, where? So I reread I re I re it. I'm like, wow, he actually was being smart. And first I was gonna get into my petty bag. I'm like, I ain't gonna be petty. So my response was, because of my world-class act, y'all are getting brand new basketball goals for the first time in over 50 years. You're welcome. Hashtag be blessed. I have nothing else to say about that. Why you feel like as a head coach, as a leader of the team that kids follow, why you think coming to my page, coming and saying, uh, you're being sarcastic, saying you can't get in the gym with your team? I mean... Let's just call it space, space. You're a varsity head coach, right? One basketball goal is broken. Two of them will be replaced. I was at the gym. They have 14 basketball hoops in the gym. Side goals, main goals, stuff of that nature. For you as a varsity head basketball coach to say that you cannot get in the gym First of all, that's a lie. You can get in the gym. You just can't get in there and use the mango. And look, by the way, this is like two weeks after I broke the goal. I'm, now, I don't know how long it takes to replace the goal. I don't know. But you're coming to me as if I'm supposed to be rushing up, rushing the process. I don't know how long it takes. Shouldn't y'all be talking about that with the school? <laughs> what I got to do with that? Because I broke it? Now, y'all can get in the gym. I'm not hearing that we can't get in the gym, blah, 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 blah. Excuses. Now, let me backtrack. Carmel, I have no beef with Carmel High School because there were some great people there. But as far as the basketball team, they were 3-9 this year. That ain't good. And just off rip, I can see why. I haven't even looked at the talent of the team. I don't even need to look at the team. Because everything trickles down from the head coach. This man made an excuse. Keep in mind, the season's over. The season's done. <laughs> if they're getting in the gym now, they're preparing for next season. For it to be this early, 
and you're already making an excuse saying you can't get in the gym because the goal is broke. You can get in the gym. You know, every time you go in the gym, it don't got to be to shoot a basketball. That's what people get it wrong already. You can work on ball handling. You can work on conditioning. You can work on team chemistry. You don't need a basketball hoop at all. You don't. Even to work on free throws, you don't need a basketball hoop. So saying you can't get in the gym is ridiculous. Terrible. So, after that, one of their players, and like I said, everything's going to trigger down from the coach. They see their head coach doing ignorant things. Go on to my page, comedy. So, one of the players decides to uh, follow the coach's lead. Comments. Knock off Globe Charter who celebrated a dunk on a teacher who can't even walk is wild. Now we can't get into the into the gym for workouts. Keep inspiring fake people, little bro. Lord of mercy. Now, I think this kid's name was Joey. I, didn't want, I don't even want to show y'all what little Joey looks like. But anywho. The man said, knock off Globe Charter, who celebrated a dunk on a teacher who can't walk as wild. Now we can't get into workouts. Keep inspiring fake people, little bro. Laugh face. Knock off Globe Charter. If I can't tell you how many times I done heard that one. Knock off Globe Charter. Let me get let me just clear this up. I've been a part of the Globe Charter show. I've been a part of the Wizard show. I'll be the first to say there is no beef between a globe charter and a wizard. Half of us are already good friends. <laughs> We're on our teams to do a show and get up out of there. Show the crowd some love. You know what I'm saying? Inspire the youth. Entertain. Have a good time. Get up out. There is no beef between a Harlem globe charter and a Harlem wizard. Let me run that back. There is no beef between a Harlem globe charter and a Harlem wizard. We are all cool. <laughs> so let me just put that out there. Now, for, for y'all that don't know, because everybody, everybody might not know what a Harlem Wizard is. We're very similar to the Globe Charters. We do show basketball. We're here to entertain. Very similar. Now, Harlem Wizard is for funding, is for fundraising schools. Globe Charters more so inter uh, straight entertainment, sell tickets. So it's different purpose behind. Both great. They're both great. But I think people get it um, misconstrued when they think that a Harlem Wizard is something that's trying to prep to be a glow charter. No, I'm not prepping to be a glow charter. I love what I do and I want to stay on the Wizards for the rest of my show basketball career. I'm not out here looking to be a glow charter. There's no, I wouldn't have no problem being a glow charter. That's just not what I want to pursue. I'm happy being a Harlem Wizard. <laughs> the way he stated that was if, as if I'm chasing to be a Harlem Globetrotter. I'm not. So I'm sorry that comment was a waste of your time, but I'm not chasing to be a Harlem Globetrotter, bro. I'm a Division I All-American. Played five years professional overseas. My basketball career is more than I thought it ever would be. <laughs> being a Globetrotter would not top that off. I'm happy being a Harlem Wizard. So the knockoff Globe Charter, ridiculousness. Now, I celebrated a dunk on a teacher who can't walk, and that's wild. Now, uh, when I broke the goal, as every hooper would, although it wasn't on purpose, breaking a backboard is something that is celebrated. Yes, that is it. That is an accomplishment. You can look for one in every 10 people. They have not broken a backboard. That is a big accomplishment. I broke a backboard. So guess what? The backboard is on the ground. The game is over. What, I'm going to walk around like, oh, man. No. The crowd was going crazy. They were getting lit. So you know what I said? You know what? This is a show. They happy about it. I'm good. I'm not hurt. I'm going to go stand up on that shirt and I'm going to scream to the top of my lungs. So this is a great accomplishment. Whether y'all hate it or not. Because let little Joey have broken the goal. I'm pretty sure he would have been jumping for joy. 
Cross town. Joey can't dunk, by the way. But, um, yeah. That's that. So, and when I break another one, I'm going to celebrate again. Y'all book us at y'all school next year, and I happen to break it again by accident. I hope you're in the building this time. Because I'm going to run right over there and scream right in your face and be like, hey. Now, dunking on a teacher who can't walk. Y'all saw the clip. Um, I'll play the clip again. Did y'all even see a teacher at? <laughs> Where was the teacher at in, in, in the whole play? Besides the one that got slapped on the butt. Where was the teacher under the goal? I don't know what he was looking at, but I mean that's all I can say. That I mean that was just an imaginary thing he saw right there. Um, now we can't get into workouts. You, you see the you see the the effect that the leadership has that that trickles down. They see the leader making an excuse, so now you feel like you should make an excuse. You're in New York. You don't need a gym. We are in New York. What is New York known for? Parks. Playing basketball outside. You can work out. Your team can work out outside at a park if y'all really want to win. If y'all really want to be good. But that's obviously not the case. And I'm not one to be making fun of people because I it, it's not even the whole team doing it. But I'm sorry. Y'all are three and nine. Something needs to change. I'm not sure if y'all were even putting in work in the gym when y'all had the gym. If it's even being taken serious. I blame the coaches though. But the players have to take accountability as well. Because the coaches can't do everything for you. But it seemed, it seemed like something needed to change anyway. Maybe y'all should work out outside. Get in an uncomfortable environment because something not working. Three and nine. Three and nine. Three and nine. You can work out outside. You can work out in the weight room on the side. Like this new generation, man, they think everything got to be inside, and this goes for the coaches too. They think everything got to be inside. No. Do things outside of your comfort zone. Now, keep inspiring fake people, bro. I don't even know where to go about that statement because what does it mean to inspire fake people? Were the people in the crowd fake? Or are the people on my social media fake? Statement. I guess he was just so frustrated, he just said, let me just say something that don't make no goddamn sense. Keep inspiring fake people. No comment. Comment down below if you know what that means. I'm sorry. <sighs> so, I decided to take, to take the high route. This is what I said. This is the last thing I'm going to say about this because I see your team and your coach are very upset. The fact that y'all think I purposely broke the goal is ridiculous. <laughs> no, let me say what I said. The fact that I think I purpose the fact that y'all think I purposely broke this joint is ridiculous. I would never try to put my own self in danger nor other people around. That's a fact. Why would I purposely try to break a goal knowing there's people around walking, kids running around? Why would I purposely break a goal knowing somebody can get hurt? Including myself. Joey? <sighs> Where am I? Oh, I would never try to put my own self in danger, nor other people. It happened. And like any other player would do, if the crowd was going crazy, especially in a show, we got lit. We paid for two brand new basketball goals for y'all. If y'all need a gym to work out at, y'all could respectfully DM me about that, and I could have easily set that up for y'all. Just because I love the game and want to see young and shine. You know what I'm saying? I want to see you shine and progress and, you know what I'm saying? But for y'all to come on my page and disrespect me is pointless. 
It's all love though. It's other work to be put in that doesn't require a gym. And that's coming from a former D1 All-American and current six year pro. <laughs> he didn't respond to me after that. I mean, but realistically, what else is there to say about that? Now, that's all I got to say about that. I just had to update y'all about that. Comment below how y'all feel about that whole situation. Um, I'm not mad about it or anything. It's just, it's, it's actually pretty funny to me that they actually are doing all this extra stuff. Maybe I should pop up to their school just to give them a surprise. You know? Maybe I should go to their gym and start working on the gym and hope that they walk by and be like, hey, uh, how's he working on the gym if the goal's not up yet? How's he able to still put in work even though we make excuses all day about how the gym is bad? Too bad for us to get in. But anywho, yeah, man. So, although this tour is over, I'm still going to be doing some summer games. Um, I actually have a game in New Hyde Park on the 25th. I have a game in Jersey on the 21st of this month. So if y'all watching this, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wanna pop up, uh, comment below. Also, I'll be doing giveaways all summer. Matter of fact, every comment that goes in this video, they will receive a free Harlem Wizards game ticket. This is a ticket to the game. Hold on, clear it. Boom. You will get a free ticket to the game if you comment below. All you gotta do is comment below glitch. That is my wizard's name, G-L-I-T-C-H. You can put whatever comment you wanna put up, put on top of the video, whatever, but make sure you put glitch in the thing. I will make sure that you have a free ticket to whatever game you wanna to come to, whether it's this summer or the next tour. I will definitely have that for y'all when I come to the game. I got y'all. Like I said, I'll be doing giveaways. We're gonna be giving away socks, a lot of, Wizards merch, we're gonna be giving away headbands, everything, t-shirts, all that. So make sure y'all comment below. Oh, these, you know what I'm saying? You got the wristbands too. Gotta stay wristband up. So yeah, make sure y'all comment below and um, spread love, spread positivity. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm back on doing my videos. We're about to turn it back up and get back on, the, on this. YouTube journey that I've been on. So I feel like this is a great video to start with. Until next time, we out.